Why are speaker cable ends left bare? Bare naked. Henry in Sausalito, California wants to know, and Henry writes to me, he says, there are all sorts of speaker cables out there with elaborate shielding, some very thick and layered, and even low-pass filters in them. But then all of them terminate with exposed ends that are not then secured to binding posts, uh, that, no, that, that are then secured to binding posts, well, we hope they are, uh, that are not as well insulated on both ends. Moreover, the positive and negative binding posts are usually pretty close to one another. What's the point of all that insulation and efforts in the cable itself if it's all exposed at the ends? Don't you get potential noise or interference at these exposed points? Thanks. Well, you might think so, but um, actually no. You don't because the amount of noise and energy in a room in anywhere near your stereo system is minuscule compared to the size of the uh, the signal going into the speaker. Okay, so uh, you're putting you're talking about putting 20 volts into a speaker, 10 volts, 15 volts into a speaker, where the noise and the hums and the radio interference and all that crap. You're talking about millivolts, microvolts. I mean, we're, it just you would never hear it in a million years, you couldn't. So that's the first answer to that question. The second answer is that I don't know of any speaker cables that are shielded. I don't think that's a good idea to shield speaker cables. And, and I personally don't know of any. Now maybe there are some weirdos out there that are shielding speaker cables, but I don't even know where you would, where would you tie the shield? Remember a shield has to have ground somewhere. And so I guess you could tie it to one of the black binding posts, but then you might have a pair of balanced output amplifiers, and then that wouldn't work. So I don't even know where you would tie the, the, the ground, the shield to, to ground on. I suspect you are thinking that because of all this, you know, big hose that's in there, that there's got to be shielding. But generally, almost always, no, there's no shielding in that. Um, yeah, companies like MIT and Transparent, they put in these boxes, you know, that are very expensive out of machined aluminum, and they've got low-pass filters and all of that. But uh, none of that is going to have any impact on, you know, what comes out of the, uh, or what gets in as, as far as uh, noise and all, because the levels are so much higher. So, yep, it might look a little funny when they go to all this attention to dress these things and then they got these dorky little <laughs> wires coming out. And I, I know it's, it sounds silly, but if you were to take that whole cable apart, and those dorky little wires are all that's basically in there. Uh, ar around it, it's got a lot of cotton and stuff to make it fat. And uh, that's pretty much all there is, is that in there. So sometimes they're twisted and, and because, you know, cables, there's 50,000 ways to make a cable, and everybody's got their opinion on what sounds great and what works great. But um, I think in general, you're never gonna have a problem with that. So, hope that answers your question. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.